Hi guys, another paper aeroplane from the complete book of paper aeroplanes by David Woodruff. So I paid £1.25 for in a charity shop. They are available on Amazon. I've had a look and I haven't seen any new ones recently. So I think they're all second hand ones available on there. So check that the description doesn't say they've ripped all the pages out already. There's an affiliate link in my video description, so you can have a look for them. Uh, this one cost me £12. Well, it didn't cost me £12.99. It was originally £12.99. Like I say, it cost me £1.25. Anyway, I'm working my way through it. We're getting near the end. We're up to page 160 out of 190. So we're nearly there. It's two pages for each design, so that's only about 15 left, isn't it? Today, we're going to do the Blue Streak Racing Plane. You could rip the page out, fold it up, you could photocopy it, or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the fold instructions. So, some scrap paper. Uh, and I can see there's actually a mistake in that those instructions already. Those two pictures are duplicated. That one's supposed to be saying, fold that down. We've also got cut a little bit off the bottom, but I'll leave that right to the end. So first of all, I'm gonna fold it in half so I know where the middle is. It doesn't tell you to do that. But at some point you're going to fold it in half, so I'm doing that anyway. Right, printed side face down. That's so you get all the pretty colours on the top when you've finished. Fold that corner in to the middle. The more accurately you do it, the better it will fly. Because if you get it wrong and the wings aren't equal sizes, it will never fly straight because one, one wing will be trying to tip the other one up. Right, so we folded that, and fold it over like that. Then fold this in, but not quite from the center. Uh, right, if you do need to measure anything to get the dimensions off here, It's best to, well, the way I'm doing it, measure it in centimetres on here, and that transfers to half inches on the A4 printer paper that I'm using. So, fold that over. When we get to there, that's the fold line. That's six centimetres, so that's going to be three inches, or six half inches. What it's saying is from that point, fold it to the center line. Like that. And same on this side, from that point. Make them match up. And then fold that bit back over. That should hold them in place. And then fold the whole thing that way. What was this? Blue Streak Racing Plane. So you ought to be able to throw this one fairly hard. It says launch at a moderate speed. Right, we've done that. Now we've got to fold it. Yeah. Centimeter there, so that's going to be half an inch here. And at the back end, 
3.8 centimeters so that's three half inches and eight twentieths so that's going to be there our blue streak racing plane so we'll see how it goes it flies it makes a change to have one that actually flies quite well it's got a proper fuse large to get hold of so I can give it a good throw and yeah we get the distance with it as well so that's the blue streak racing plane page 160 out of 190 nearly done and yeah end screen up here the, rec the video that YouTube thinks you would like to watch on my channel down here is my channel, up here will be the latest video on my channel, and down here will be a related playlist, which will be my Paper Planes playlist. Thank you again for watching. Oh, and don't forget, down below there's always more information, useful links, that sort of thing. Thank you.